Well, uh, innovation we're facing with uh, is going to introduce a large amount of uncertainty into the labor force. That el everybody agrees uh, on that. We don't know what kind of changes there will be, but there will be changes, that's for sure. And so in the face of changes, you can either you know, try to preserve and protect yourself from changes, but that is futile if the changes are massive and affecting the, everybody in the world. Or you can flow with the changes and try to adapt yourself to, to the change. And so I, I usually think about it in terms of sort of Northern Europe versus Southern Europe approach to, to, to this. And then Southern Europe, which uh, approaches this issue in a sense of trying to protect the person in his or her job. Whereas Northern Europe tries to protect the person and try to, to maximize the value of the person within the economy, within the labor force. And so in order to do that, you have to have a very uh, easy way of separating and connecting. And if you have difficulty separating from the job, you have difficulty connecting to the job because companies are afraid to hire. You have to have a very serious project uh, or very serious programs uh, that will retrain people that will find them jobs, that will match between firms and, and, and workers. And, be, and, they, and while doing that, you have to provide them some safety net with, uh, during which they, they, can, they can survive and they can uh, support themselves while retraining and finding a new job. The problem with the safety net that it tends to, to be uh, absorb, absorptive in, in a sense that people tend to sort of feel comfortable or you know, relatively comfortable in the safety net and then say, well, why should I get a job that I don't like? And so you have to be more assertive in making sure that people who've been retrained and found a job will go to that job. And so the safety net has to be on one hand sufficient, on the other hand not too generous. So these, these type of policies are, have been implemented in a variety of northern European countries. I think there is a lot to emulate. The difficulty is that uh, those require a lot of trust and a cooperation between different parts of society rather than confrontation, and more of which we see in the Southern Europe. And I, you know, unfortunately, we in Israel have part of that being dominant as well. So I'm, so we are much south of Southern Europe. So we, perhaps, in the same uh, in the same uh, position. So I think that, that it is not simple, but it, it has to be done. Otherwise, there will be a widening gap between the Southern Europe and, and Northern Europe. And I don't think this gap is warranted.